Program Director, the Honorable Minister of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment, May Barbara Chrissy, Your Royal Highness Representative and his entourage and all Mahosi that are here today to grace this occasion, the Acting Executive Mayor of Wembe District Municipality, Councillor Anderson Dunungu, and all councillors, local mayor representative, Councillor S.C. Quinda, the chairperson of the board of the South African National Biodiversity Institute, Professor Nessie Mvuni, and the CEO of um, South African National Biodiversity Institute, Mr. Shoni Munjezi, senior official from government, department, and entities, academics from various learning institutions, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Nda. I will also take this opportunity Linaki Loshe Magoshi Aburin Tover Program Director My Venda It is not in near any bath If I was to try to speak it I may have serious problem I'll take this opportunity firstly to thank the Minister, Member Brakrisi, for hearing our plea to declare this botanical garden in Wembe in Tuando a national botanical garden. Everything was open. Ruko Rukonya Ulewa Bu Ministara Urivarife Botanical Garden Ye. Kirele Chajili Nwe as an MEC wa environment Molim Popomo Katlamo kar kitlano kitlo bona gore pleke lebelela ga byang e ke i saw something which ourselves as government we have neglected there were people around the minister but you could see that there is no order the toilets it was water all over the toilet. And, and then I asked myself, what kind of human beings are we? We find things in order and we destroy them. As the ANC government, we have to acknowledge where we make mistakes. President Ramaphosa always tells us and the leadership of the ANC, that where we have made mistakes, we must apologize. I think we must be able to apologize to the people of Wembe and the people of Limpopo and the people of South Africa. In that apology, we have to make commitment. And we are here with the minister from the national government, ourselves as a province, and our local municipalities, Councillor Dunungu, and the representative of the, of the mayor of uh, Tulamel. We must say, like when President Ma Mandela said about apartheid, when he said, never, never again, that this kind of situation shall prevail. We must say ourselves, here and now, that this 
kind of attitude will never happen again. Our people deserve better. When I, I always say, Councillor Quinda, did you see the debt that we went through as we go to that hotel? And we call that hotel our asset. It can't be that we go through water. You saw the debt. I always say it. I rather say it here and now. And I will say it every time I come here. Because we are people who have to make sure that this town looks better. Our people deserve better. I said to the mayor, we must clean that place and we must start cleaning. As we have Lichima, we must be able to clean that place. We, I have to come here, invite me with the department, municipality. The money is not a problem. The problem is the attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, I get to say the tale. We are not here to bring the tale. We are here to launch something which is a heritage to us, something that we should be able to cherish too. I want to indicate that in 1926, there was a proclamation of the Kruger National Park which is part of our 70% of that part is in our province, Limpopo. In 1998, under President Tabumbeki, in the same region, we celebrated the declaration of Mapungubje National Park, our cultural landscape. In December 2002, the Greater Limpopo Transfrontier Park was proclaimed with the signing of the International Treaty by the head of South Africa, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. During 2009, UNESCO proclaimed the Bayembe Bio Biosphere Reserve, joining more than 700 biosphere reserves globally. Today, the minister is here once more to usher into the community and the people of South Africa, another icon of national importance, the Tuando National Botanical Garden. The list is endless. Just to say that this region never sleep. I want to indicate, Minister, that we are happy that today you have declared the Toronto National Botanical Garden a national uh, asset. We will also urge you, like any other province, to add other botanical gardens in our province. When I spoke to you, you told me that you were in Mahobas Kloof. In Mahobas Kloof, you would have noticed that that area is rich in any other way, in any language that you want to speak. That area, it deserves something. With this, we will know that we are collaborating with the university we are collaborating with our business people, and tourism in this area will increase. Obviously, you will know that from time to time, people who are working in Johannesburg, who are coming from this area, they come back home, they will need to use this area. Minister, I'm told that in December, you will see people in this area pulling uh, their yards, village yards, into Nandoni Dam. So we are saying that this will increase employment opportunities in this, pro, in this uh, region and in our province. So, look, the day is not my day. It's the day of the minister. I don't want to take much of what the minister is going to say. Ours is to thank the minister. And she must go and tell President Ramaphosa, Oriri Mpopo. Realebuga, Ntoche Arfang Chona, Armeteling Mazo, Agri, our president, Rina Kamukar Rumileki president, Ramaposa. So every time we must report back to him, Ranyan, Ranyan, Ntoche Arfang Chona, 
re a leboga re nyaka gore a tsebe gore a direlele ba ba ngwe a ska direlele rena fela now i want to take this opportunity to introduce the speaker of the day she does not need to be introduced she's a freedom fighter asima fiki zolo she has been there in the udf she has been there uh, with us in the trenches and of course she is a member of the national executive committee um, now she's a minister of forestry fisheries and environment honorable minister barbara chris the stage is yours <laughs> 